What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Goff House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny and this video is part of the Cruptober Extravaganza collab with many different channels. This one is actually hosted by Amanda over at The Beals and Lisa over at Sutton's Days. So thank you ladies for inviting me. I'm so excited to be part of this collab. Now in this collab, every day this month from October 1st to October 31st will be a new slow cooker or instant pot recipe. Yum! And all of these recipes include things from main dishes to the sweets week that we're in right now and also breakfast recipe. Today is five days till Halloween and I am making my caramel apple bread pudding in the crock pot. Super easy, super festive, and delicious. Let me show you how I make it. Okay, so let me give you the lowdown on which ingredients you need to make this delicious caramel apple bread pudding. We're going to need about two cups of heavy cream. You're going to need vanilla extract, a teaspoon. You're going to need four eggs. Um, I think about a teaspoon, maybe a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, some nutmeg. Um, we need about a quarter cup of butter. We're going to need some granulated sugar, a quarter cup. Um, eight cups of bread cubes. That's my homemade bread, but you can definitely use store-bought bread. If you buy a store-bought bread loaf, it's probably going to be the whole loaf, just an FYI. Um, and then apples. I'm using my home canned apples just because I have them, but you can definitely use fresh apples, or if you want to make it even easier, you can use pie filling and you can skip adding the extra um, ingredients as your pie filling would put in the cinnamon and the nutmeg flavor. And then we need caramels. You don't want to forget the caramels. I don't know yet that we're going to use this whole bag. I'm going to get everything mixed up and then I will decide from there if I will be using this whole bag. So, I'm using my crock pot with a crock pot liner just because I have them. Um, I make lots of apple butter and I use them for that. It makes it makes it so much easier for cleanup. So, let's put it all together. We are going to start by mixing up our egg mixture, the custard. I'm going to put my four eggs in here. I'm going to start beating these guys first because uh, it's a lot easier than putting the cream in and whipping it. But you can do it any way you want. Okay. Sugar. Cream. Melted butter. Get in there. My vanilla. Teaspoon. Okay. Cinnamon. I don't want it to be too cinnamony because it's caramel apple, so we want it to have some cinnamon, but not like, you know, overwhelming. So there's a good healthy teaspoon. If I weren't making caramel apple bread pudding, I'd probably put more in for a regular bread pudding. And then I am going to put some nutmeg because nutmeg makes everything taste better. If you don't like nutmeg, you can leave it out. I'm doing fresh grated, not really measuring. Okay, here is my bread. It is <clears throat> about eight cups, maybe a smidge more. Make sure your bread is um, day old, slightly stale. Gotta soak it in there good. I 
I did half a bag of caramels. I'm going to throw those in and we'll see what it looks like. Um, I left them whole because I thought, well, you know, when it's cooking in there, we're going to get big melty pockets of caramel. You know, I might use the rest of the bag. It's got to be really caramely, right? Okay, I'm going to let this sit here and soak. And I think I'm going to peel the rest of these and use the rest of these just because I can. Okay, you can totally tell I'm a canner. I just told you I was going to peel those caramels. <laughs> I'm going to open them, and I decided about three quarters of the bag is good enough. Looks like our bread is soaking it up. Yummy. Okay, apples. I have one quart jar. I wasn't sure if I was going to use two, so I opened two. If not, I'll use the other one for something else. I think the one's going to be good enough. Um, if you're using fresh apples, you can use three apples. Three apples probably be good for this. But hey, it's your kitchen, and uh, you can use however many you want. I just had a whole bunch of regular canned apples, and I hadn't done anything with them yet, so I thought, well, I'm going to chuck them in. Very carefully put your bread pudding in here. My bowl's heavy. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna pop the lid on and I'm gonna put this on high for three hours. And we'll start checking it at three. Um, if it's if the center is still kind of jiggly, then we'll cook it for a little bit longer. But it's going to be about three, three and a half hours on high. If you want to put it on low, it's probably five to six hours. All right, it is done. Oops. And it just switched off to low. It's just starting to brown around the edge. If you want it a little bit crustier, you could leave it in for a little bit longer. I do not. I like it soft. So I am going to get some out here. Pieces of apple. You can see the caramel in there. Chunks of caramel apple. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yum. Melty caramel. Okay. I've got my cup of coffee all ready to eat with this. You can eat it just like this. It already has the caramel and caramel, caramel, however you want to say it. <laughs> the apples in it. But if you want to kick it up a notch, we can serve it with ice cream on top. And since the bread pudding is hot, the ice cream will melt over it and turn it into a little creme anglaise. And then, and then, more caramel. Right? Ta-da! It's a beautiful dessert. And super caramelly. That is super delicious. Mm -mm -mm. It's definitely a must try if you like bread pudding. The bread pudding itself isn't that sweet because we've only used a quarter cup of sugar in it um, because we were going to put in the caramel and apples. So the sweetness really comes from the caramel and the apples. Um, so it's really not an overly sweet dish even with the caramel in it. Total win. Okay, that is all there is to it. Easy peasy. I love crock pot meals. I love instant pot meals too. Anything that goes in those, I'm in. There has been a ton of good recipes this month already. Um, if you check out their channels, I'm going to put a link for everybody's channel in the description box below. Go check them all out. You can't live without these recipes. There are some really fantastic recipes. I don't think I've seen a video that I haven't liked yet. You're gonna wanna go to the Facebook page for the Crocktober Extravaganza as well. I'm gonna leave a link for that in the description box below as well. Um, there are so many good recipes. So many of you are participating, sending in your pictures and recipes of, 
ideas of what you're making in your crock pot and instant pot this month it is awesome it is a great community you don't want to miss out on that there's also a giveaway each week and we still have one left so make sure you go to that page and enter the giveaway there are also a lot of live videos on the facebook crock pot extravaganza page some great ideas now tonight at five o'clock eastern time i will be doing a live video on facebook as well um, that way you can ask me any questions that you might have about cooking bread pudding in the crock pot but i'm gonna have a bonus recipe for you to also so don't forget to check that out on the facebook page again the link is in the description box below yesterday's video came from frugal fit mom and she made a cinnamon roll monkey bread in the crock pot it looks delicious so don't forget to check her out tomorrow's video is coming from farmer Mima, and she is going to be doing a keto pumpkin dessert gotta check that out if you enjoyed the video and you like the content that i have please consider subscribing to my channel also hit the like button and if you do subscribe ring the little bell you're gonna want notifications when I have new videos come out. You don't wanna miss a thing around here. I'm also on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm on Facebook, and you can visit my blog for all of my recipes, including this one, at JennyGoff.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.